Martin, who are worshiping with us, to come on up. And as you're coming up, we're going to do something a little different. You need to stop and see Miss Rosemary. She has a piece of paper for you that's very important. So you need to get one of those and come on up, and we're going to make a big circle. Stand all around in a big circle up here, okay, facing each other. I need one, too. Okay, did you get a piece of paper? Go get one and st keep standing up. This is the hardest part. All right. You need a green piece of paper. If you didn't get one, go get one. All right. Everyone have one? My name is Ishmael Akbar, but you can call me Ishi for short. All right, let's make a bigger circle, an even bigger circle so everyone can fit. An even bigger circle. Even bigger. Whoa, this is a huge circle. Good job. All right. Well, how many of you are going to vacation Bible school tomorrow? Most of you, but not all of you. Well, if you're not coming, I want you to know you're invited to come. It's not too late to register. We have registration forms right outside on a table near the front door, and I would be glad to help you get registered. We're going to do some fun things at Vacation Bible School. We're going to learn about how God loves us and how God asks us to love our neighbors, and that's what this is about. This is a very valuable thing. This is treasure in heaven. And this, what this says is basically, it's from the Bible, and it says that we're supposed to love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our strength, and, and our mind, and to love our neighbor as ourself. So we're going to put that into practice this morning. You have this very valuable piece of paper, and I'm going to ask you to do the hardest thing. I'm going to ask you to give it to the neighbor on your right. Now, the Sony works if, if everyone has one. Does everyone have one? All right. So when I say one, two, three, give it to the neighbor on your right. Are you ready? One, two, three, this way. Can I have yours? Thank you. How are we doing? Oh, you need to take it from your neighbor, too. See, when your neighbor is trying to give you something that's loving, you have to receive it well, too. Did everyone give and receive another piece of paper? Someone doesn't have one? Oh, oh, you've got two. There we go. Doesn't always work the way we expect, but usually it does. Now, that something interesting just happened. We gave something to someone, and we got it back. You know, you can't outgive God. No matter how much we love other people, God just keeps loving us like crazy. Just like this. Whenever we give God's love away, we get it right back. Isn't that cool? We're going to have a lot of fun with that this week, and I can't wait to see you on Monday morning for Vacation Bible School. So, can you pray with me? Are you ready? Dear God, we love you, and we want you to help us to love our neighbors. Amen. All right, go ahead and take your uh, treasure in heaven with you to Children's Church. And have a good time, and I'll see you on Monday. And as the kids are doing that, I'd encourage you to stand up and share the love of God with each other. morning is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. And in this parable, 
Jesus tells of the Good Samaritan, and we can see how love for your neighbor was truly put into action. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied. How do you read it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. When he fell into the hands of robbers, they stripped him of his clothes, they beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on olive, on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey. He took him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert of the law replied, The one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. Excuse me, Rosemarie. Are you my neighbor? Uh, well, yes, I guess I am your neighbor. Would you fly away with me? <laughs> oh, Godwin, I can't fly away. I don't have any wings. Oh, then maybe you could surf. Uh, surf? You know, surf. Like surf the web? I don't surf webs. I get rid of them. You must be powerful to get rid of all the websites. No, just use a broom. You get rid of all the websites those nasty spiders leave. Spiders? Yikes. I don't like spiders. I'm not a fan of them either. But you have to be bold. Bold! Oh, my goodness, you startled me. Bold! You look kind of old. Old? No, you bird brain, not old. Bold. What makes you bold? Well, you just heard about me when Rose Marie read the Bible. My name is Sam. Sam Good. We didn't read about a Sam Good. Yes, you did, but it just didn't come out right. I am Hebrew, a language that's read like a planter plants a field. Down one way and back the other. My name is on the way back, so it would be Good Sam. Good Sam? Oh, you're the Good Samaritan. Bold! You keep saying that. What makes you bold? Well, have you ever tried to help a neighbor with all these people suing you nowadays who are just trying to help? That makes me bold! <laughs> there weren't that many lawyers back then. Why do you think that being a good neighbor makes you bold? Well, First of all, Samaritans like me were not well thought of. Most people wouldn't even talk to people like me. In fact, even most Jews hated us. Why? Well, we did things differently. We believe that God resides on Mount Gerizim, and the Jews believe God resides in a temple on Mount Zion. We only have the Torah to rely on as our holy text. The Jews have the Torah and the rest of what you call the Old Testament. Oh, there are a number of other things as well. 
But our heritage does have a number of commonalities. So why did you help someone who was a Jew? I mean, maybe he didn't want to be helped by a Samaritan. Well, he was beaten. He was left to die. If I didn't help, who would? But would other Samaritans would have thought you were doing right? Oh, heavens no. They would have thought I was helping the enemy. So why did you do it? Because I'm bold. My but... boldness doesn't come from my own strength. It comes from believing in God. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. That, my fine feathered friend, is in our Torah. It's also in your Old Testament. Being bold is part of being faithful. I have helped that man on the side of the road because there's another saying in the Old Testament as well. You shall love your neighbor as yourself, even if. Even if? Yeah, even if. Even if your friends might question your loyalty, even if the person who is hurt may have hurt you first, even if it would be easier to pass by on the other side of the road, even if you'd rather use your resources for other things, God calls us to be bold. Sam. Yes? I think I'm ready to be bold. Well, what do you mean? I think I'm going to go and help my neighbors clean all those websites in their basement. Websites in their basements? What are you chirping about now? They have a nasty bug in their internet, and I'm just the one who can take care of it. But the Geek Squad won't like me meddling, neither will the Microsoft. Internet? Geek Squad? Microsoft? You're talking Greek to me. New Testament, Sam. Greek is New Testament. Godwin, New or Old Testament, we both believe in a loving God and loving neighbors. I think we should pray together. Okay. God of us all, we need a bold spirit. We know that true boldness comes only from you. Father, please give Godwin and all of us the desire to show our neighbors true love so they might see us in us, the love you have for all. Sam.